Welcome, everyone, to Let's Jazz It Up here on Lady Diva Live Radio. Thank you all for tuning in. Phone lines are open. You know my guest line number. Here I am, Brenda Moss, here on air with Quinn Robinson. He is the drummer musician on that new single I just played, which is called The QR Code. Welcome, Q. Welcome to my, to my platform. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure for me to be here. All right. Where are you calling from? I am calling from Atlanta, Georgia, where All I live. Right. I live in Atlanta. Yep. All right. Hell, baby. Hell out there. All right. So we're going to mention about this new single I'm playing. Um, what inspired you to do your first new single, and why did you call it the QR Code? Okay, so funny story. <clears throat> I was um, coming. I was in. I was in rehearsal, um, and I'm pretty sure we'll get into that. I was in rehearsal with an artist. <clears throat> we were on a break, and I started humming this this melody, and a keyboard player friend of mine started fiddling around with it, and I jumped on drums, and then we started playing it, and uh, you know didn't think anything about it until I was going. Uh, through the rehearsal and realized that we have been recording the entire time. Uh, so I started playing with it, started, uh, you know, messing around with it, uh, sent it to a bass player friend of mine, Demontrius Lawrence, here in Atlanta, and um, he put bass on it. And another friend, Jaden Sorensen, went ahead and put guitar on it. Next thing you know, we had something cooking. <clears throat> so I re-recorded drums, re-recorded drums, had my friend Wes Bird, uh, uh, who plays for a lot of different smooth jazz artists. Um, he played piano, and next thing you know, we had a single. And, um, yeah, so uh, I actually had no uh, plans to actually release it. It was just something fun to do, but uh, I was in the car one day with another uh, artist friend, and it just randomly came on, You know, you know, when you have your iPod on shuffle, or your iTunes on shuffle, and I went to turn it off, and he was like, hey, what's that? What's that? I was like, oh, man, it was just, you know, something I was messing around with. And uh, he was like, man, you're stupid if you don't put that out. That's really good. That is really good music. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah like, uh, and it just it just started from there, and then, you know, it's just, the you know, the entire process of, you know, making sure that it sounds right and yeah. the paperwork is done right, and so – the QR code was born. Um, the reason why it is called the QR code, um, a lot of people think about the technical code that you can scan, yeah. which is true, but my first name is Quentin. My last name is yeah. Robinson. So Q, QR and code is basically how I live my life. You know, the definition okay. of code yeah. is the systematic way uh, or governing body of rules to which one lives their life. So. Okay. The QR code, it's about how I live my life. Yes, yes. I see that you are uh, uh, a tech tech. You are uh, <laughs> on Roland Electronics, the MacBook Pro, and uh, the 21st Century Tools, um, and you're set up as a drum or a cymbal and, and a lot of extensions. Uh, mm-hmm. A, a lot that you do um, to a lot of people. That's that's too much. That's too much to do. But to you, it's, it's very simple <laughs> and convenient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, that's you, a lot of work. A lot of people things. see. Yeah, you know, I, I guess you know, uh, kind of going growing up, and I think we'll get into this a little later. Yeah. But yeah. you know, uh, growing up, you know, I was always taught the more you can do, um, the more valuable your time becomes and the more, yeah. the more of a, a, a more essential entity you become to a particular, uh, situation. I, I, it wasn't necessarily designed that way, but I've always been a techie. I've always been interested in electronics and making things easier yeah. Um, yeah. And music music just became that platform where I was able to combine things that I love to do into one particular place. 
So yeah. it just kind of worked out that way. It wasn't planned that way. It just kind of worked out that way. All right. Well, thank you for that information. So as we move along, introduce yourself to our curious listeners out there about who you are. Tell us about your journey in the music industry. Uh, what and who okay. was your inspiration back then in the beginning? Mm-hmm. Is your family musically talented? Is where you got your skills and talent from? And who is your favorite list of artists and musicians growing up into the music industry? Oh, yeah. Well, we'll be here all day talking about it. I know we got a 30 minute <laughs> show, so. <laughs> but uh, I'll start at the top. I am Quentin Robinson, born and raised in Miami, Florida. Okay. Um, early in- Early influences, my mom swears that she is the reason why I play drums because she played the snare drum growing up. In, um, I come from a very small church, storefront church, and she says that she was playing the drums when she was pregnant with me. I cannot wow. confirm I cannot confirm nor deny that, Brenda. All I will yeah. say is that um, – I will say I came from a very musical family. Like like I said, I grew up in a very small church where it was very family-oriented, and all of my aunts and uncles, they were the musicians. My uncle played bass. My aunt played organ. You know, my mom and my other aunts, they sang. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I am the first one, I am the first one uh, to actually take it outside of the four walls of the church. Wow. With the exception of my cousin, my cousin, do you remember the group Goodfellas? They had that single yeah. Sugar Honey Ice Tea. Yeah. Well, my first cousin, my first cousin, Deloui Avant, um, was the lead singer for that group. Okay, okay, but, okay. But I'm the I'm the first instrumentalist to okay. take it outside of the four walls of the church. But yeah, he's uh my um very first cousin, he used to beat me up a lot, but we won't get on get into okay. all of that, you know. Okay, well, thank you for all that information. Thank you. And why do you choose jazz? Oh, man. So, jazz. So, when I was growing up, um, <laughs> there were only uh, – I came from a very, very small, uh, small church. So, when I was growing mm-hmm. up, it was just – it was gospel and blues. That was it. That was the only okay. thing. That was, there were no there were no sub genres, right? So okay, yeah. when I got to under when I got to undergrad though, um my first um my first percussion instructor, Jonathan Joseph, introduced me to the Yellow Jackets and he introduced oh, me okay. to Will Kennedy. Yeah. And like the the first the I can I can never forget the first time I heard Sightseeing which is um, one of their songs on their early albums, I fell Uh in love with what that music felt like and what it sounded like and how, because it's so vastly different than gospel, you know, and Uh um, it just, it just began a a deep dive into jazz music and smooth jazz music and how it feels and how it allows you to, you know, it, it, like smooth jazz music in general just ship shapes, right? Like it allows yeah. you to enter worlds yeah. and enter different uh, mindsets with and yeah. still be in the same place. So that's yeah. the thing that drew me to that music. So okay. I okay. said if I ever decided to do anything, it would definitely be in the jazz world. Um, and this song, the QR code, is actually paying homage to Will Kennedy, who's a, a current mentor and friend of mine. Okay. Um, if you listen to any of the Yellow Jackets music, it's very yes. reminiscent of yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I, 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 now that you t- mentioned the Yellow Jackets, it, it really um, put a um, memory in my mind, yes. And thank you for that information. <laughs> thank you. Oh, so no are you currently no still touring with uh, some other celebrity artists, Avery Sunshine, Anthony David, Tebow Bryson, and a host of others? Yes, uh, Anthony David, Peebo Bryson, uh, Avery Sunshine, people, uh, Bobby Brown, Shantae Moore, Kenny Lattimore. Uh, mm, I'm, mm. I, yeah, I'm the one. Listen, just whoever's writing a check that week, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's that's who I'm going out with. Right, <laughs> but uh, but that's good but, though. Uh, that's really good. Yeah. That's really good. Wow. 
That's Thank something. You. Thank you for that information. So as we no move problem. along, the QR code, where uh, music outlets is it available for anyone to purchase that single? Please give your website okay. information and your social media sure. information as well. Go right ahead, Q. Sure. So the single is available on all digital media outlets. Any streaming outlet that you can think of, it is available there. It is also available on my website. My website is www.iamqrobinson.com. That's I-A-M-Q-R-O-B-I-N-S-O-N.com. Uh, social media is very easy. Um, my Twitter and my Instagram are both at Q Groovin, that's Q G R O O V is in Victor, I N is in Nancy. Uh, Facebook, I have two pages. I have a fan page as well as a personal page. Um, Facebook is forward slash Q J Rob Q J R O B, and the fan page is Q Groovin Music Q G R O O V is in Victor, I N is in Nancy Music. Okay. Thank you for that information. Thank you. No so will you be doing any uh, future performances or upcoming events? 